Hey, Amazon App Store, my name's JB. You may or may not know me as Super Zamaga Barbecue or SCB. My prerogative today to hit you up with the best, nay, the ultimate guide to getting free Christmas cards in WWE Supercard this month. The gracious month of December. Christmas time. All of the ways, including the ones you don't know yet, of getting your hands on those Christmas cards, whether we're talking Pixel, Extinction, or Octane. So belt up, tighten up those straps, because we're gonna go on a ride to find out the best ways of getting those Xmas, Christmas, whatever you wanna call it, holiday cards, free of charge. Now, before we get started, I do wanna say, first of all, a huge thank you to the guys over at the Amazon App Store, where you can get the cheapest method of obtaining Supercard credits. How? If you've got an Android device or a PC, laptop, you can use the Amazon App Store to download WWE Supercard. Then, simply purchase Amazon coins before obtaining your credits in-game. This will save you anything up to 20%, and in some cases with specific deals, 25% on the value of the in-game items. And you don't have to use just for WWE Supercard. This is the Amazon App Store channel, and every game featured here is on the Amazon App Store ready for you to play right now. If you want to find more information out about the Amazon App Store or how it works with WWE Supercard, check the links in the comment section and description down below. One last thing, and that is if you own a PC or laptop and have Windows 11, you can now download the Amazon App Store on the Windows 11 beta for Android apps, meaning that you can start saving on games like Supercard without having to download an emulator, which makes it so much simpler. Huge thanks to Amazon App Store for sponsoring this video and bringing me to the channel. I've enjoyed my time here. Now I'm also running a little giveaway in the video, so if you are not already subscribed, now is the time to do so. Also, hit a like on the video and comment down below what the last Christmas card you got, whether it's season nine, season eight or season seven. Why? Because if you subscribe, you like this video and you comment down below with your last Christmas card along with your super card ID, I'll be sending out some exclusive card backpacks directly to you which are limited edition and are only available on the Supercards web store. Just to run past that again, subscribe, like, comment, sorted. All right, let's start off by saying there is no fun in repeating previous videos I've done, not just here, but on my own personal channel. I could spend half of this runtime talking about how to get different picks or snowballs and how to get the Christmas cards from different ways in the game without going through the special ways and the unique ways of doing it in this video. So I'll summarize those boring parts you might have heard before very, very quickly. Not to say there won't be a couple of ones you want to pay attention to you might not have heard before. If I look over to the side at any point, it's just because I've got some notes for each individual point so I don't forget anything. And because I'm a little bit under the weather, my voice is a bit shot. First of all, to getting more picks by playing modes like King of the Ring, Survivor, TLC or Tables, Ladders and Chairs, and as of this Friday, 24-7 mode, and prioritize modes or game types such as Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber for extra picks. You want to also be going for as many rewards as possible because the Christmas cards are pullable on the draft board and available with regular rewards, albeit at a smaller draft rate. And with the massive changes to exclusive draft picks in rewards, such as in PVP modes and TLC, now is the best time for you to be getting access to as many rewards as possible to give the best chances of getting those special cards. Top four in Survivor gets you an exclusive draft pick. Now TLC, a win or a tie gets you one. King of the Ring, Team Battleground as well. A win gets you an exclusive draft pick, so just do it. Something you might not know if you didn't take part in the first part of the Twitch drops, there is a Twitch collection set in game if you're lucky enough to get your hands on an Alexa Extinction Christmas card, a Solo Sokoa Pixel card, and a Valhalla Miz from the Legacy set, which grants you an extra Pixel Christmas card. Make sure you don't forget that. Although you should be notified if you hit that requirement in game. You can also obtain a free pack in the collectible store if you've got the snowballs, but don't bother. Trust me on this, save your snowballs for in your house and you'll see why 
in just a moment. And finally, the good old using super coins to get picks. I get most of my snowballs from this method. Trust me, I don't waste my time playing PvP or event modes to get my snowballs. I just grind out through super coins. Now that is out of the way, we spoke about snowballs and building towards the best way to get free Christmas cards. Let's start with Twitch drops. You may or may not have taken part in the first set of Twitch drops. Basically, if you watch people like myself streaming Supercard live on Twitch, you can get yourself anything up to 35 snowballs just by watching people stream Supercard or streaming it yourself. And I'll leave my link in the comments down below or download the Twitch app and search Super Zomagar Barbecue and you'll find this lovely face right there. Twitch drops are active until the end of the month. So if you haven't had a chance to do it yet, come to my channel, I'll be streaming and earn yourself the drops. But JB, we're talking about free Christmas cards. Why are you talking about snowballs? Well, because the snowballs are just as important as your ability to obtain the rewards and get yourself through in your house. So let's talk about the free ways to get them snowballs. And there's a lot more than you probably know. Let's start off with the WWE Supercard website where you can get at least one snowball per day. All you need to go is go to your profile, get your in-game ID, put it into the site and it will send you a free pack with one snowball inside it. It doesn't sound like a lot, but they may increase it. The second is through draft patterns. Now we've only have one set of draft patterns, but I imagine through Christmas and New Year, will start to get more. And these are the things that pop up in game where you have to enter a pattern or a certain shape into the draft board. Now, if one shows and you want to make sure that you don't miss a single one, pay attention to my social media accounts and my YouTube channel as I'll be posting those either in the community section, in a video, or alternatively, Instagram or on my streams. These will get you free packs, potentially with credits and super coins inside, but more importantly, you'll get yourself free snowballs there. So if you see one on the draft board when you're playing the game, don't ignore it. One important point to mention is that with Ring Domination, which is the next event that's coming up, the draft board is different. So you want to make sure that the basic standard in-game draft board, you have checked that every single day just in case a pattern comes up. Lastly, there are QR codes. Inside these QR codes, you'll find snowballs, super coins and credits, each one increasing with every QR code. Now, before you go and spend those credits or those super coins, just wait up a second because they are for use on specific items. Of course, you can use it on anything you want, but my recommendation is to use the credits to purchase the snowball packs that show up in the game store. Then use the super coins to buy picks in the super coin store to then pick cards off of the board. You can get 25 picks for 75 super coins. And of course, each QR code comes with an increasing amount of snowballs. So use those for the boss battles. Those are the ones you want to focus on. I'll tell you why in just a second. And I implore you to stay glued to my channel because every QR code that gets posted gets put into a video, usually the next one that pops up on the channel or in the community section. But now the ultimate way, boss battles. You've seen every way to obtain the snowballs or the Christmas cards or credits or super coins. But the ultimate way is to focus on the middle row of these doors on the In Your House Advent Calendar. You want to be focusing on Solo Sokoa, Kevin Owens, Indy Hartwell and Saint Mick who is the final boss. Why are these bosses so important though? Well, each door has a number on them. One to four includes bronze rewards, which are not that great, gonna be honest. There's a chance you might get a Christmas card, but it's very unlikely. The second set, which is from six to nine, gives you a silver pack, which again, you might get something, but it's probably unlikely. And then the third set of packs from 11 to 14 includes gold packs again with an increased chance of getting something decent, but it still only goes up to extinction. And then the platinum packs, which come in as of 16 to 20, these I still are unfortunately going only up to extinction, but that might change in future ones. But this is the best way of getting 
access to high level cards, but not to the Christmas cards. No, you want to focus on these guys. First of all, Solo Sokoa will give you a guaranteed Pixel and Extinction card. Indie Hartwell will give you a better chance at Extinction, but basically the same reward. Unless you've got an amazing ladies deck, I would focus on Solo Sokoa and just keep beating him again and again and again. Using all your snowballs on these are no bueno. Just do them once and then make your way through as close as and fast as you can up to the boss battles. Number 15, however, includes the chance of Octanes. And so far, my ratio for Octanes compared to the other Pixel and Extinctions is way higher. And this is because in the gold packs, guaranteed Christmas cards, but Octanes are included. Now, we don't know what the Mick Foley final boss will give as a reward, but my guess would be at least that the first attempt may give you a guaranteed Octane card. Whether you'll get that for repeated tries, I don't know. But at this point, the drop rate for the pulls of the snowballs is nowhere near good enough to make that viable. So maybe that will change in the coming week or so, but that is the best way. Just keep pounding and pounding these bosses. Solo Sakura, if you're looking for the extinction and the pixels, or Octane, right now, you want to be going at Kevin Owens again and again and again. So there we go. All of the individual methods that you needed to know to get the free Christmas cards. And trust me, getting those snowballs is the best thing you can do. And just hitting the bosses on 5 and 15 as much as you can to get the best rewards. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to enter yourself into that little giveaway for the special card back packs. You've only got 11 days to do that. So make sure you don't miss out by hitting the like button, making sure you subscribed to the Amazon App Store. Sorry, I just hit my microphone there and commenting with what your last Christmas card was and your super card ID. Also, don't be afraid to leave a little tip down there for anyone else who might need it. Until next time, this has been the Amazon App Store. I have been Super Zomaga Barbecue. You can find me on my own personal channel or doing the Twitch drops on twitch.tv forward slash Super Zomaga Barbecue. I'll see you very, very soon. Peace out. Woo!